Welcome. Today I'll be shooting, um, I'm going to show you guys how to shoot a wedding band, jewelry, you know, it's plain, it's a cobalt wedding band, so it's very reflective, very uh, shiny, which is one of the most difficult things to shoot. So we are using Helicon Remote with Helicon Focus. As you can see right now, the ring is out of focus in the front and somewhat in focus in the back. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take a series of image, which is called a stack, and um, combine it all together so the entire ring will be in focus. And when you look at it on the website, it looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and um, get the focus points, which is, focus point is in the front. I'll just zoom in and make sure this is perfect. Let's see what we can do to adjust this here. Okay, so that's our focus point in the front, which is A. We are going to zoom out and then zoom back in to align it and focus on the back. A little too much there, but the focus plane is kind of short, so you have to do a minute adjustment to get it just perfect. You see it's coming in, and I think that is pretty much it right there. So we'll lock that in. That's focus point B. So now we set it in the front and we set it in the back and it'll take a series of Im images from the front all the way to the back. Uh, total images about seven shots and then we'll stack those together and where we merge everything and it'll create a complete image that's the entire item is in focus. So the computer, uh, the camera is already set up, apparently, and um, let's go ahead and shoot these seven images out. As you see, it is a live feed. So as it's shooting, the images are being dropped in here. Okay, so it's finished shooting the seven images. Right now, we are going to open Helicon Focus, right? This is a previously shot item. And we'll pull this stack in, so. There's the seven images, we'll just open that. And it'll automatically drop it in here. The seven images here you see right here. Um, we're using method B, uh, deep map. Uh, radius is eight, smoothest is three. I find that works best for me. Um, you can adjust it to meet your requirements, right? Um, we'll go ahead and hit render. And as you see, it rendered all seven images together to give you this bad boy here. So, as you can see, everything is in focus. And by doing this, you know, you have a very high resolution image that your client will be happy with. Also, with jewelry, you will, f once you do it this way, you will find every little dust, scratch, lint, reflection the camera right there so you'll find every little thing in perfection you will find in an in your jewelry you will see it here by doing this method um, 
but by doing this you will get a fully focused image after it's been edited it will just look fantastic um, that's what we do here for our clients at media creations that's why jewelry is one of the most difficult things to shoot and also one of the most expensive things to shoot um, this will be going to our editors so we'll go ahead and save this and we'll just send them this they'll go ahead and work on this and um, lay it out you know remove all the imperfections retouch it and I'll go ahead and put a updated um, a finished image of the ring once the editing is complete I hope you guys like the video if you do have any questions please let me know um, first time really uploading a a kind of a tutorial of how to photo stack jewelry all right you guys leave a comment below any questions i'll be i'll try my best to answer it as best as possible all right take care